Two key components of physics when it comes to track and sprinting is velocity and acceleration. Now, when you start off the race, your distance of per stride, we're going to assume, remains constant. While the, accept, while the, veloc the time of each stride is going to decrease. decrease. Now, when the time decreases, our velocity is going to increase. Once we hit the full potential of our race, the velocity is going to become constant because our time is going to stay the same. Once the time and the velocity are constant, our acceleration equals to zero and is no longer we are accelerating. It's the difference between sneakers and spikes. Now as you can see, the bottom of my spikes is very, there's spikes that will grip to the track. The bottom of my sneakers are flat, therefore they will slip. When I start off in a race, the, the bottom of my spikes are going to be gripping the track. Now that creates friction more than the, the flat surface of sneakers while enduring the race, especially when you push off. When you push off, you want more friction so that you can get a better start rather than slipping and not going to your full potential in your race. Now it also has a lighter weight to the spikes which allow it to be more efficient while running and the sneakers don't lag you down. So most sprinters in track will use spikes rather than sneakers. Momentum and your X and Y vectors. When you start off a race, you're going to want to have the most momentum you can in the X direction. Now, by leaning forward in the x direction right, and decreasing your y vector, it allows you to have more momentum because your velocity is going to increase. And because momentum equals mass times velocity, and your velocity is increasing in the direction that you want it to, your momentum is going to increase in the direction that you want to. And as you go, you're going to slowly straighten up, causing your race to be like the same speed throughout the whole thing and rather than slowing down because you're leaning over your heels the whole time. Yeah. So we're going to experiment here with the difference when I said between spikes and sneakers by showing the difference of times it takes for me to run 10, 25, and 50 yards each. And um, I'm a distance runner, not a sprinter, so yeah. <laughs> Go! So the results show that my hypothesis I made in the beginning actually proves to be correct and the friction helps a lot, especially as you get higher and higher in the yardage. going down the strip to get into the air. One thing to think about when pole vaulting is you're running in the X direction this way and you want to turn that momentum and velocity into the Y direction when you jump. So you're going to be going forward. Once your pole gets
get into the box, you're going to want to jump 90 degrees up, try and change all of your momentum into the wide direction to get the height that you're trying to achieve when pole vaulting. <laughs> Go. So there's second pole vaulting, which is equal to FD sine theta. And you're going to want as much force going in to your jump as you can when you plant the pole into the box to get as high as you can in the wide direction. <laughs> yeah. When pole vaulting, you have to think about the bend in the pole because it's extremely important. And the bend in the pole is going to decrease the impulse, and impulse is force times change in time. And this is going to help you stay in the air longer, so you can bring your body over the pole. And also it will make landing a little bit easier, not as painful. <laughs> so to increase the bend in the pole, you're going to want to put all the force you can in your jump into the pole left arm if you're a righty to bend the pole. Now you're going to want to keep your elbow straight and perpendicular to the pole so all of the, all of the force is going in one direction and if you have your elbow out here it's going to be harder because the force breaking up in the vector is going this way is not as strong if you're keeping your arm perpendicular. So when you jump it's going to bend a lot more. Let me, 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 let me,